video it's going to be a tips and tricks video so I'm going to show you some different things uh, it'll start out with some sort of basic stuff and then I'll move on to some more advanced tutorials show you how to install a different launcher how to s install third party apps so let's go ahead and start with the basic stuff one thing you're going to want to get familiarized is with the settings menu up here you've got your quick settings for volume the brightness um, Wi-Fi all that stuff uh, this screen lock this uh, orientation lock right here is uh, helpful so it doesn't automatically switch the orientation when you uh, tilt the device and then there's this uh, other thing up here this is your notifications bar over here it'll show all your downloads everything will show up over here that's running um, then you also have the advanced settings back here in the more section so if you want to install third-party apps the one thing you're gonna have to do is go down to device and then click on right here uh, to install third-party apps and you can install apps from places other than Amazon and that's also a place where you can uh, see what uh, memory you've got left and you've also got some other settings in here you want to get familiarized with uh, you got the display settings so you can set your screen timeout uh, five minutes is the default uh, there's some other stuff in here like you can set your security password if you want to have a password uh, when you turn the device back on you can set that right here and then you can also set it up so Wi-Fi doesn't turn on without a password so like if you, if you want to give this to your kids or something and you don't want them uh, going online so let me go ahead and show you some of the other details here this is your carousel obviously with all your recently uh, used apps and books and everything shows up on here videos so with the last update you can actually remove stuff from the carousel now uh, that's really nice you can also add the stuff from the carousel to your favorites uh, menu down here so you get your favorites list uh, you can just uh, move stuff around in here so one thing with Android you're going to need to get familiarized pretty much everything has a single press function and everything has a long press function so you can use, do the long press move stuff around uh, just like you do with other Android devices okay so let me show you a couple of things you can do with the web browser here uh, you can actually save individual bookmarks to the favorites bar like right there so this is how bookmarks work you hit the button right there and you can save bookmarks right here and you get a title you can enter it um, so I found that it doesn't uh, if you long press right here you get the other options share uh, open in background um, but you don't have an actual option to add it to your favorites menu so what you do is you visit the page you want to add to the favorites and then you go to the home screen and it always shows your web page right here and then from there you can add that individual bookmark to your uh, favorites list like I did a couple down here um, so this indiv this post, post right here is referring to some um, EPUB apps if you want to install some EPUB apps on the Kindle Fire I got a whole list of them right here like Aldico, Nook, uh, Cool Reader, um, Overdrive app so um, this, check out this post for those so a couple of things you can do with the web browser you have the double tap we'll zoom in and then you've also got the pinch zooming obviously if you want to copy and paste so this goes for other apps too you just hold down uh, it, it's pretty much the same thing for any Android device and you get the little highlight deals and move and then you just tap this so this is different with the Kindle you just tap it and then it copies the text and then so if you want to like save it to uh, an email or a note or something you can just come in here and then in go to entry entry field and just hit paste and you've got the um, uh, that's how the copy and paste works with the, that's pretty much the same with any Android device okay so let me show you how to install some apps so I already showed you how to enable installs uh, third-party apps so you can go to different app stores there's the get jar app store slide me app store you can just google those and go find those and you can install the app for them and then you can just uh, search those app stores directly from the Kindle Fire uh, or you can just go to developers websites to get the APK files uh, another place I go to sometimes is Android Freeware um, so let me show you how to install a separate launcher so a separate home screen for your Kindle Fire most of the launchers don't work for whatever reason but the Go Launcher works uh, you can actually just go to the Go Launcher website to download these files directly so I already downloaded this one actually um, but so this is how it works my internet is super slow I don't know what is wrong with it today but it's going to take forever to download this but luckily I already have it downloaded so what once the file finishes you tap on it and then it will launch the package installer I already have it um, right here oh it's the other one um, so you tap on it once it's finished this is how you install apps and then you just hit OK install and that's how you install third party apps from outside the Amazon App Store okay so once the application is installed then you have the different option of separate launchers when you hit the home button so you can set either one as a default or you can just let it prompt you to uh, ask which one you want each time so then from here it's more like a traditional Android home screen you can do uh, you can add widgets you can, this has got different transitions you can set all kinds of different stuff you got your app drawer over here with all your different apps so it's a lot more like a regular Android device then like I said um, let me show you how to do something here if you set one of these two as a default and then you can't access the other one so if we set that to default then we'd have no way to access our Kindle launcher from here you can actually go in here and then find your Kindle launcher it's a different app so it's right here um, but say you wanted to go set your Kindle launcher to be the default again what you need to do is you go into more applications you gotta go to manage applications 
So we set that the uh, Go Launcher would be our default, so you have to go in and hit Clear Defaults. So then it won't be the default launcher anymore. And then you have the option again of setting which one you want to use as the default action. So then uh, the only thing with side loaded apps is they're all pixelated. They're not uh, set up to be on the Kindle carousel, so they're kind of ugly. Uh, that's how you uninstall apps is you long press and then hit um, remove from device and that's how you uninstall apps. Another way to, to do that is to go to your applications like I just showed and you can uninstall apps that way too. Okay, so a couple of apps you probably want to download. I would recommend uh, you got the ES File Explorer. You need some kind of file explorer to be able to navigate, navigate your uh, files you add onto your Kindle because it doesn't have any kind of file explorer natively. But this one's available in the Kindle store. You can come in here. So it makes it a little bit easier. You can find your files. Uh, so if you get a Dropbox files in here or whatnot, and then you can go back, um, you can go into your downloads. It's a little bit easier to find your stuff in here. And then you can copy and paste. Basically, all you need to do to move stuff is you could just hold down and then you get the options right here. You can copy, cut, move the folder to a different location. Um, some ebook apps uh, require like the ebooks to be in a specific folder. A lot of the books, uh, you can just uh, specify the directory in the app, or some of them you have to like put the ebooks in a folder. So it just sort of depends. Uh, app like this will help a lot with uh, uh, moving files and accessing your files more traditionally with the folder method. Another app that's uh, probably a good idea to have is uh, the Badass bot Battery Monitor. So that's another free app over in the Amazon. App Store. So with this, you can monitor monitor uh, which apps are using a lot of um, energy and whatnot. So if you go to App Sucker right here, you can see which of your apps is draining a lot of power. Um, so that way, you can kind of keep a control of your Kindle's battery power a little bit better because some apps will suck power a lot more than others, even when they're just running idle. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this tips and tricks tutorial right here. Check out the ebookreader.com. I'm going to have a post associated with this video that's going to have a lot more uh, information on it because uh, a lot of the stuff I can't really cover in the video.